earned in social dancers once again. They're in there. We're in here. I got Miss Laura. Hi. My wonderful partner helped me. We're going to show you what was taught tonight. First time ever taught anywhere in all the years I've been doing it. It's called the Tuck Hip Whip. That's right. So, first part was obviously it's a tuck turn. So, we in the class showed this. It's just a one hand tuck and you send her through, right? Six count. You can use both hands to get into it. You can do a one hand tuck, trip, pull, step, and trip, pull, step. Just to get everybody comfortable in that. That's the tuck part of this three part. Okay. So, we're going to get into it. So, sugar push one, two, three, and four. I'm going to let go of her left hand. And I'm going to start a tuck turn. So I'm going to go one, two, three, and four. Turn signal for her. She knows I'm going to tuck turn, but I'm changing it up. So we're going to start this way, just so you can see how I one, two, three, and four. Now, if she stays there, I'm going to release her right hand. And then I'm going to come down and take my right hand and connect it with her hip. So we're just going to add a triple step at the end of this. So one, two, three, and four five and six. So I put my right hand onto her right hip. She's turning right like a normal tuck, but I'm going to put my hand on her hip on five, pull her forward on six. So going towards the camera so you can see what I do with my hand. This hand guides her, this hand finishes it. So one, two, three, and four, five and six. Just in the middle of her back. You don't have to grip a death on her, but her back. She's on her left foot, I'm on my right foot. Now she's going to start a series of bochooks. Half turn to the left. Triple step. She's on her right foot. I'm on my left foot. So you're just doing a tuck into two bochooks. So going this way. One, two, three, and four, five, and six, seven, and eight. And what Laura's doing is obviously keeping her arms up, out of the way. Out of the way. Ladies, you don't want to have your elbows out. They're going to hit them. I won't mind that, but don't hit them. So we're going to add two of them. So one, two, three, and four. Bring her forward. Bring one more here. Trip full step. So there's three. We're going to do one more because we just made everybody sink into the class. Triple for her. Guys are going to get on the track. Trip full step. You're going to roll your arm over, middle of her back. Pull her towards you like a normal whip would go. So going front to back. Let's go this way. So it's one, two, three, and four. Bring her forward. Bring her forward. Bring her forward, trip, full step. Left foot for me, right foot for her. And then from there, it's just a finishing normal whip. So one, two, three, and four. Hip turn here, hip turn here, trip, full step, trip, full step, half turn, and then center through. Guys, you can also kind of alternate your weight and shift. I play sometimes, so we'll go this way. One, two, three, and four, five. Go here. One, two, three, and four. Bring her forward. Bring her forward. Bring her forward. Trip. Hold step. Out and through. All right. One more time. One towards you, and then we're done. So sure push. One, two, three, and four. Five and six. One, two, three, and four. Five and six. Seven and eight. Nine and ten. Trip. Hold step. Out and through. And that's it. The tuck part, hip catches, get it out of the whip, you're done. Thank you. Is she good? <laughs> what a gem. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Please use it. Hope you like it. That's why we record it so you can go back and watch it and review it at your pace. Until next time, have a great week. Keep dancing.